Good afternoon everyone. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner and once again we have reached a milestone. This is video number 3300. My 3300th video. Well, sort of, but still. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do in this particular video is I'm going to thank every single person who has ever subscribed to me here on YouTube. But I'm also going to extend a special thank you to every single person who has followed me on Twitter or Instagram. So what am I going to discuss in this particular video? Well, there are some rare people in the world, and yes, they are rare, but there are some rare people in the world. If they were to scrape their knee, and you walked up to them and you offered to give them a washcloth, some antibacterial cream, and a bandage. They would stand there and tell you, hey, I'd rather suffer than have any of that. Sounds silly, doesn't it? Why do I bring this up? Well, first of all, I wanted to say to every single kid returning to school, I hope you have a great school year. I know it's very tough when teachers are pummeling you with information and then you have to deal with social awkwardness at the same time. That's tough. So you have my deepest sympathies on that. But here's the thing. This is something I've been doing for almost six years. Okay? What I have been offering people, and I, and I saw this on Instagram all summer long. Okay? I saw people posting all summer long. The, the first few days of summer vacation, they were standing there saying, well, this is great, this is fantastic, this is what we're doing, so on and so forth. But then, but then, what did I see? I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. And here was my thinking. All right. Now, it's bad enough you have to deal with social awkwardness, whether you're in school or you're not. But then to have that additional being pummeled with information from your teachers during school, that's quite a load. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, why don't I provide these people with all of this education while they're on summer vacation? Then they don't have to worry about grades. You know what? I never test people here on my YouTube channel. I never do. You don't see any formalized tests. I don't grade you. That's not the way I do things around here. You can learn from me while you're bored on summer break. That way, when you go back to school, you don't have to deal with all that information overload while dealing with social awkwardness at the same time. You don't have the double whammy. You've already got the information. You're passing your, your tests with flying colors and you're not having to crack a whole ton of books to do it. Think about this for a second. What's the difference between the kids on summer vacation and when they're in school? Well, one of the big differences is that when you're on summer vacation, you could pull out your smartphone or your tablet anytime you like and check all your statuses. Can you do that in school? Not unless you want to get into a lot of trouble. See what I mean? And some schools literally take your smartphones and your tablets away from you until class is over. That's just, that's just the way they do it. And there are a few schools that say, hey, you show up with any of these devices, they'll be put in the principal's office until the end of the day. And sometimes they'll even send letters back to your parents to say, don't send your kids with smartphones or with tablets because they're going to be confiscated. So you're literally going to school without your tablet, without your smartphone, and you're wondering the entire day what's been going on on your Instagram account, or your YouTube channel, or your Twitter account, or your Facebook page. You can't even look on your Facebook posts. And do you think they allow you to do that stuff on the school computers? Guess again. So the things you're able to do at home over summer vacation, you can't do in school. Now let me tell you something. 
there are things that you could do on, on summer vacation. You can go surfing, play beach volleyball, go to summer camp, that kind of thing. That's true. And those things you really can't do in school. I understand that. But there are times when you're on summer break and it's so hot you don't do anything. You're just sitting there looking at your statuses and communicating on social media. Well, why not divert your time and attention from stuff like that just for a little while? And watch some of my educational videos and learn that instead. That way you're not have to learn while you're in school because you've already learned the material from me. And the best part about it is that you can message me and I'll comment to you back. That's true. I will do that. I will tutor you throughout the summer right here on YouTube. You don't have to pay me for it. And better yet, you don't have to go anywhere. I mean, when you go to school, you have to actually go to school. You have to wake up early in the morning, you have to go to school, and you have to wait throughout the day to see your social media. And then, you may have to wait longer because your parents may say, okay, you can't look at your social media until you get your homework done. Homework only takes a long time if you don't know your material. If you learn your material over the summer, homework doesn't take very long. You can go back to your social media. You can play your Facebook games and your, and your in, it, well, not Instagram, well, there are games on Instagram, but there are games that are specifically tailored for tablets and for smartphones. You can go back to playing those. You can have a whole evening full of that, if that's what you want to do. Personally, I wouldn't do that, but anyway. My point is that for some of you, you're not back in school yet. I would take some of your boring hours and watch my video. You say, well, your videos are boring. Well, they may be boring, but you are getting the information ahead of time. Therefore, you're going to be one step ahead of the game. You're going to be able to keep up your good grades. You're not going to be grounded anymore. Who likes being grounded? I was rarely grounded because I kept studying all the time when I was in school. I would even study on summer break. My mother required me to study on summer break. What an interesting mother I had. But I thank her for it. I really do. It really benefited me in the end. But she forced me to study through summer break. There was nothing wrong with that. Why not take this opportunity to learn the material now before you have to go in that school? That way you keep your grades up. You're not flunking, and you'll be a lot happier. It's just a thought. And even when you do start school, those first few days, you probably don't get a whole lot of homework. I would take that opportunity to watch my videos and learn a whole bunch of stuff. That way, when you go back and you have all that homework, it won't take you as long. And you can be on social media where other people are completely grounded. Some people are grounded so badly that they never get the chance to check their social media. All school year long. You want to endure that? See what I mean? Now the final thing I will discuss is some of the unusual Instagram comments that I get. What people don't realize is that when I get one of those unusual Instagram comments, I discuss this with my intelligent co-workers. I really do. And then these co-workers and I get together, because we're really good friends, and we formulate videos as a response to your comments. It's a great way to construct educational YouTube material. We learn a lot from you when you give us those unusual comments. And we respond in the most educated way. Now I do the exact same thing with unusual comments that I also get on YouTube. I get some of them on YouTube as well. 
and makes great educational material for me. Gives me something brand new to teach all of you. So, before you comment again, let me clarify something. Manufacturers do place logos specifically on t-shirts and hats to start up a conversation about their brands. Even back in my day, rock and roll bands would place their logos and their faces and whatever on t-shirts to stimulate conversations about their band. Some bands do that to this day. Have you never owned a One Direction t-shirt? See to me? And when you're at the beach, there are people in this world, it's hard to believe, but there are people in this world that collect seashells, that look at starfish, they build sandcastles, and they do tend to calculate how long the beach is. Because when they want to take a long summer walk, they don't want to take a long summer walk on an incredibly short beach. That's not fun. They want a long beach so they can take a long walk. Get the picture? Duh. And another thing. Not everyone can go shopping for clothes at a convenient time. So they do tend to run into crowded shopping malls full of agitated customers. And they do have tough times finding things that not only fit them well, but are really durable garments. And even if they do find a, a particular garment that fits well and is durable, that sticker shock, yes, that, that price tag can be really daunting, to say the least. Those are real experiences. Okay? And real people like me have had those kind of experiences. Maybe you haven't, but we have. You say, well, all you have to do is order online. Oh, well, that's really good and dandy. Until the garment arrives, you find out it doesn't fit too well, and then you have to go pack it in the, in the box and ship it back. And let's say you're ordering something for a special occasion. You don't have time to ship that particular item back. Then what do you do? So there aren't always so simple of solutions when you go shop shopping for a wardrobe. Getting the idea? And it's stuff like that that my co-workers and I discuss and then I formulate with their advice videos like this. So, you may not believe it, but when you leave a comment, a, a, an unusual one, not, not the normal everyday comments, but an unusual comment, when you leave something like that, you're just giving me material that I can then place back here on YouTube. And that nets me views and subscribers. So you're actually benefiting me by giving me these unusual comments. Think about that the next time you comment on any of my pictures or you comment on any of my videos. Think about that real carefully. Because you're just pretty much giving me new material to put on YouTube. Now then, to finish this particular video up, what I'm going to say is this. I hope everyone has a good year in school. I hope that school violence is down, that you don't have to deal with any of that. I hope you learn a lot. I hope you don't have to suffer through too much social awkwardness. I do care about what happens to you in school. And if you're having difficulties, I'm just a few mouse clicks away. Pull out your keyboard or your tablet or your smartphone and let me know what's going on. As a matter of fact, if you're having tough homework, what I would like for you to do is take a picture of it and send it to me or make a video of it and send it to me and I'll walk you through it if I can. 
months. Now, granted, there are some levels of calculus I haven't quite reached yet, but most of your normal standard homework I can pretty much figure out for you. But if you're heavy into chemistry or heavy into physics or something like that, that could be a little more difficult. But go ahead, send it to me anyway. I might just be able to crack the code. I might be able to find the resources. The nice thing about me is that because I am not married and I don't have a whole bunch of kids, I have plenty of time to assist you with your education. That's true. And this isn't just true of those going back to high school. It's also true of those that are going through college right now. And let me tell you something. You college kids, I know how much time you don't have. And this is also true of adult ed. When I'm talking about people that work two or three part-time jobs. You don't have time to do this kind of research, but I do. So send it to me. Let me work on it. And I'll tell you what I learned. I am here for all of you. Okay? So whatever your needs are in the line of education, you send those to me and I will do my best to assist you. That's what I'm here for. I'm not here for my good looks. If I was, I'd be on the cover of Gentleman's Quarterly. That's true. Whew. So do I have anything else to say? Not really. All right. I hope everybody has a great school year, whether you're in high school, whether you're in college, whether you're doing online courses. I hope you have a great school year. And... My ears are always open to you. My comment box is always open to you. I will assist you any way I can. Will I continue my review of Instagram pictures? At some point, yes, I will. Not today, but I will. I will also, this is one other thing I wanted to bring up, a lot of you people have been asking me about Google+. How does it work? Well, very soon I'm going to post up a video, I've been doing some research on this, and I'm going to post up a video on how to use Google+. And I will teach you how to do that. You've already seen my review of Instagram, so you know it's coming. Alright. That's all I've got to say for this afternoon. I will tell you more in a future video, so I want you to stay tuned.